Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'm going to show you how you can use the catalog and uh, design tables which is coming under the infrastructure catalog editor in the Katia v5. So to uh, do that I'm creating an MTL nut and I'm going to reproduce this particular nut. So this is the second, uh, second video of this uh, tutorial series so keep watching. So I'm going to switch back to the uh, generator shape design. and uh, let me do a sketch so you're going to select a plane which is uh, actually coming with this particular vertex and this particular vertex is being aligned with this plane if you s take this plane it won't be aligned so take a plane such that this vertex and this vertex are aligned and uh, give a sketch and uh, as I've done the circle over here you can project it to 3D and uh, make an axis from this particular point you can just uh, draw a line like this and make it into uh, and uh, what you can do select the dimension line and just uh, give 30 degree because that is the uh, standard for an M12 nut so this is going to be the fillet so uh, you will come to know once I'm doing that so that is done come out of the sketch now what you're going to do uh, I'm going to take this and uh, do the revolve 360 and through the z axis. Okay. Now we'll come back to the part modeling, part design, workbench, and use insert surface space feature split and uh, reverse the arrow. So you have uh, one part being done. Do the same thing on uh, the side too. So switch back to the uh, GSD. Oh. And uh, select this line, project it to 3D and uh, create an axis. And, uh, select this line, mirror it and uh, what you can do just uh, make this into axis come out of the sketch and do revolve with respect to z axis and uh, come to the path modeling workbench insert surface space feature split and you can hide both of them so you have your m12 uh, not being created so uh, you need to do filleting here, edge fillet, one, two, and uh, give a radius of one. So you have your M12 not being created, keep watching, thank you.